Mujeeb Zahoor is a managing director in operations for S&P Global. He is responsible for executing organizational strategy at site level to over 1200 people. He works with leaders in various functions such as content, technology, client support, sales and account management. Today he will talk about maximizing in-house talent and upskilling that works. If we talk about challenges that we face or we expect or that we face in our day-to-day -day lives at work and uh, the, the various problems that we uh, encounter uh, as we go through our, our, our job descriptions or our various workflows, there, there are several. The conventional way of uh, education in our classes and our universities has not prepared us to sort of really face what we uh, see happening on the challenges that get thrown uh, to us in our, in our workforce or in our workplace these days. I'll give you a small example. Uh, so we are an analytics, uh, ratings, benchmarking, data uh, company. Uh, we're a global entity. Uh, we bring in a lot of uh, young graduates uh, in, in Islamabad. And a lot of our uh, training is self-learning based, computer driven. Uh, people have to do modules online. And a lot of our young graduates, you would imagine in this day and age, uh, they find that very, very challenging because we're so used to an instructor being in the room, using a whiteboard to sort of walk us through what's, uh, uh, you know, whatever the subject is and somebody holding our hands that it becomes difficult for our people to make that adjustment at times. So it's such a small thing. Uh, I mean, let, let alone bigger things like empathy and collaboration, which we will speak about in a little bit, but small things such as this, just getting used to the new ways of learning. How many people here have taken a course on Coursera? So, oh, sorry, I would, wouldn't miss the front row. Um, uh, so roughly about 25%. That's sort of what tells you the challenge that I'm trying to refer to. People, the self-learning appetite, and it's, it's an amazing resource where you can learn whatever skill that you want to build your expertise in. Uh, Farah spoke about design thinking. We teach that uh, in our organization. I'm sure you all have sort of come across it as well. Uh, a critical component of, uh, or in the list of future skills that organizations will look for. Uh, other challenges that people uh, face when in, in our work in our work for or in our workplace these days uh, is around sort of again speaking in the same in the same terms the eagerness to learn. I, I joke around with with the new people that John. हमें बचपन से सिखाया जाता है कि आप बेटा primary पढ़ लो secondary में नहीं पढ़ना पड़ेगा. फिर जब आप secondary में जाते हैं तो आपसे फिर यही कहा जाता है कि बेटा secondary में पढ़ लो कॉलेज जाओगे तो नहीं पढ़ना पड़ेगा आई आई होप बहुत लोगों को ये कहा गया जब आप यूनिवर्सिटी में जाते हैं तो फिर आपके पास एक और कोई बुजुर्ग फिगरेटिवली स्पीकिंग और एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग आते हैं जो आप आपसे आप आके कहते हैं कि बेटा जीपीए ले लो अच्छा उसके बाद जिंदगी सेट है उसके बाद तुम बस जाओगे तुम्हारा बड़ा सारा ऑफिस होगा तो यही ख्वाब सजाए हमारे बहुत से लोग अच्छा जीपीए लेते हैं बट वेन दे कम टू टू दी ऑफिस some schmuck like me gets in front of them and says, guess what guys, you'll have to work towards learning new skills now. You have to unlearn what you've learned for 16 years and learn these new skills. And they're like, what happened to my good GPA? I'm a gold medalist and I can't, you know, uh, I, I can't progress. I should get promotions based on this. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, that's not how the world uh, works. Uh, the the ability to constantly upgrade your skills in this day and age is relevant for everyone. And this is a big fallacy that this only impacts people at a certain level. It doesn't. If I don't upskill myself, I will be relevant in two years. Because businesses and workflows and the requirements that clients have from these businesses are changing so fast that unless and until we are able to upgrade our skills to remain relevant, it's not going to happen. What are some skills that employers are looking for uh, in their in graduates or in, or in their employees that they're looking to hire? Team player. 
बड़ा अक्सर स्टैंडर्ड आपको बताया जाता है वी सोड ऑफ आई मीन फॉर आर स्पोक अबाउट द एबिलिटी टू कलेबरेट एक्सट्रीमली क्रिटिकल दैट यूर एबल टू डेमोस्ट्रेट दैट वैन यूर गोइंग आउट एंड यूर एबल टू लर्न इट स्पेसिफिकली नॉट जस्ट यू नो ऑन द साइड बट रियली डाइविंग डीपली इन टू इट एबिलिटी टू मेक डिसीजन एंड सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम ability to communicate verbally with people inside and outside an organization most critical thing and perhaps the biggest gap that we see uh in in the talent from pakistan the ability to communicate uh and answering basic questions and you might be a technology graduate you might be an mba extremely important that you're able to have the ability to communicate uh not only within the organization but also external to the organization i mean i i won't go through all of these but and again i don't think you are sort of uh any of this will be diabolically new very basic stuff but things that we don't perhaps consciously develop we focus on developing expertise in a particular subject matter but not really uh look at it in terms of skills i want to steer clear from for, from saying something very controversial but there's also in in this new day and age there's also conversations on ha- on on having skill profiles versus degrees so where people are specializing in data science people are specializing in deep learning people are specializing in cognitive thinking people are specializing for spoke about this in design thinking storytelling all of these techniques are what is becoming your arsenal or your toolkit as compared to having you know a degree in computer sciences or a degree in marketing etc etc i think absolutely critical that we uh that we look at it from that perspective and this is also a fact that shouldn't really be uh, a miss from us 85% of the jobs that will exist in 2030 have not even been invented uh, as yet so imagine a future hamare yahan bachcha कॉलेज से भी निकला नहीं होता तो वो मैनेजर बनना चाहता है बगैर ये देखे कि उसकी स्किल क्या है और क्या वो रोल उस तरह होगा व्हेन ही और शी इज अबाउट टू जॉइन द वर्कफोर्स एंड इमेजिनिंग अ फ्यूचर वेयर द रोल्स दैट यू एस्पायर टू बी राइट नाउ हैव नॉट इवन बीन क्रिएटेड एज येट एंड हाउ विल यू एडजस्ट विद दो रोल्स आई विल गिव यू कपल ऑफ एग्जाम्पल इन अट इज वेल just some other examples of how conventional jobs have have changed and i can sort of go on and on and on about it the two i will reference is so uh i'm sure you're familiar with the trading workflow it's a workflow that organizations like uh like s&p global uh serve as well so we're very familiar with that uh basically a bunch of traders all investment banks goldman sachs bank of america jp morgan anybody would have a very heavy trading flow so the bank of america uh deployed this algorithm uh and you can sort of go and sort of check it out as well it's called uh this whole industry is called quants now where the trading is done by an ai driven data science algorithm so they let go of 700 traders and hired 150 or so software engineers or people who had the skill to train the algorithm some of the traders who saw this coming because this doesn't happen overnight were able to retrain themselves and were able to sort of you know go and plug into the new role i'll give you an example from uh from our organization a particular individual we we used uh, linguists to translate documents so there was this pakistani guy who was born in japan so he was a japanese speaker and he used to translate japanese uh, languages for us we developed using a google translate we developed an in-house algorithm that now translates almost 80 languages automatically it builds libraries over time and translates those documents documents basically financial documents is bande ne dekh liya ki yaar ye to 6 mahine baad game khatam hone wali hai meri meri ye naukri to nahi rahegi us team mein humne us team ko bata bhi diya ki ji 6 mahine ke baad aap logon ke roles ye nahi rahenge us team mein kuch 50 ek log the theek hai ये बंदा जो था इसने सोचा कि यार अगर इस कंपनी ने आज ये कर लिया है तो अगर मैं अभी शायद मुझे कहीं पे और लैंग्वेज की नौकरी मिल जाएगी लेकिन वो कंपनी भी कर लेगी ऐसे ही दो तीन सालों के बाद सो ही 
went through this thought process, Kya, what am I really good at? What do I enjoy doing? And he identified two things. He was good at talking to people and he enjoyed doing it and he was good at solving problems. So he figured out internally, and he saw that in our customer support area, we provide tier three and tier four support to, to our clients. We do these two things. We talk to, you know, CFOs, VPs, investment bankers, and we walk them through our product and, you know, help them understand our models, help them understand our analytics, etc. So he spent the next two months shadowing that particular workflow. Now in this story, you can see that no manager is involved, no organization is involved. The first thing we have, excuse might be a strong word, but the justification we give to you is that my manager didn't help me. This doesn't do organization support. In this story, there is no organization or no manager. So that person, in the interest of time, I'll sort of come to the sweet part, which is the end of it. After six months of multiple steps that he took of his own, and obviously at, at one point, the organization provided support structures as well, he was able to completely transform from a linguist that he had done for 10, 12 years, all his life, all his professional career, to becoming a support you know, professional. He stayed with us for two, three years more, and then this is 2015, 16, I think, when this happened. And then he moved recently to, to a telecom operator in their support area. So completely transformed his career path from being a linguist. This is an example of where you have to unlearn and learn new skills if you have to survive and thrive in your, uh, in your careers. Uh, another thing, the fourth industrial revolution. I think if you look at this particular stat, so in the, in the 80s and in 90s, when the internet was being developed, how many people here know of Blockbuster? Blockbuster movie. So Blockbuster used to be our market. I am talking to the wrong audience. I don't want to uh, be castrized for, uh, for, for divulging ages. But uh, so brick and mortar video stores. We actually, we were so lame back in the day for the, all the young, youngsters out there that do a quick Netflix search and watch their movie. We actually go, used to go to a video store and rent out VHS tapes to watch a movie. That's how lame we were. But so Blockbuster used to be uh, the epic uh, brick and mortar video store. They were killing it. They were making a lot of money. And then came along Netflix. You know where Blockbuster is right now? Nowhere. They're gone. But so all the jobs that you lost uh, as Blockbuster employees, Netflix hires maybe a hundred times more people than that. And again, the example here is 3.5 million jobs were lost or roles were changed when the internet was developed. So people said, they lost, they died, the internet came, the job was finished, the automation came, the mindset is that the automation will come, the robot will do the job, what will I do? It's a good thing, if you don't do anything, then you won't do anything. But if you choose to upscale yourself, 19, more, 19 million more jobs were created. So while three point, everybody chooses to focus on the 3.5 million that were lost. Nobody choo chooses to focus on the 19 million that were gained in the same time period in new industries because they require new skills. So how do you get new skills? Or what are some of those skills? Develop leadership skills. It will be very difficult to teach leadership to, or empathy, as, as Farah was talking about, uh, to a computer, to an algorithm, or to an AI. Hollywood movies may also be real, but it's a little bit of time. Hai so if we can develop these skills that, uh, how to manage teams, how to take on projects from end to end, these skills are going to be absolutely relevant in the, in the future. Uh, foster your creativity. Try doing things differently. Again, I don't want to, I think Farah has done a, uh, an excellent job explaining this. We teach people, uh, we give people fish versus teaching them how to fish. That's the analogy I would use of our mindsets. Hum, we, we're not, when we study, we're very interested in learning. But what I'm referring to is a more process-oriented creativity, not a jugaad solution. 
so i mean that there's there's a fine line that differentiates these two things but i i think asking why for those of you who study lean or, or process improvement there's a principle there as well na? ask something ask five, uh, five times ask why why do we just do this particular process to really determine and see how you can change and make your uh, processes your lives your uh, your career sort of more more meaningful more uh, more relevant um learn how to use feedback to drive performance and innovation ye bhi thoda sa masla hai hamare yahan generally masla hai hamare yahan thoda zyada problem hai hame koi feedback de de to hame lagta hai ye to is coming from an angle he or she is coming from an angle aur khud feedback hame lagta hai ki ji saasne chal rahi hain koi ye to isliye feedback de raha hai because he doesn't like me but building mechanisms in your personal and professional lives that tell you and this speaks to what uh, farah was talking about this is the spirit of collaboration to work effectively collaboratively in a team you have to be open to feedback your way of doing things might not be the best way of doing things if you're working in a team you'll have to ensure that you have a mechanism that takes the collective wisdom of the team and arrives at a particular solution so being open to feedback creating mechanisms and structures that allow for new ideas to do something that conventional wisdom would not perhaps you know uh, allow uh, or sometimes one thing technique that has really worked is you vow ke aap jo panch cheeze karte hain na aur wo panch cheeze aap ek hi tarike se kar rahe hain pick one of them and make a vow that you will do it differently abhi wo in new year resolutions ke time bhi chal rahe hain to that this might be a great opportunity for you to do that the next year out of the five things that you most commonly do pick one thing that you are going to promise yourself that you're going to do differently that might get some creative juices flowing uh, for you guys um learning to use technology i mean i just gave an example of coursera you know uh, and other new technologies the more dependencies we can create to uh, you know on these new skills there's this really cool app called pi so if you want to learn python और ये कन्वेंशनली किसी मैं तो मार्केटिंग का मैं तो फाइनेंस का स्टूडेंट हूँ या तो मैं तो मार्केटिंग का स्टूडेंट हूँ एवरीबडी इज अ टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट एवरी कंपनी एवरी कंपनी एवरीबडी इज अ टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट वी हैव एग्जांपल्स ऑफ वेयर एफ एम सी जीज आर हायरिंग डेटा साइंटिस्ट इन देर मार्केटिंग टीम्स थ्री ईयर्स अगो नो बडी वुड हैर्ड अबाउट दिस इज अ वेरी फेमस के स्टडी आप जाके उसको देख सकते हैं को कोला यूज ए आई एंड डेटा साइंस एंड बिग डेटा to sort of do research that conventionally they would hire like the mckenzies and others of the world to do so get comfortable using technology there's no way don't try to find way ar- ways around it the more comfortable we are the more easy we are the more self reliant we are the better it will be for us it will help you expand your network use social media to expand your network for professionally as well not just you know personal contacts etc uh utilize all avenues for growth and development ye i mean my last point is is this and i cannot stress enough we yes organizations have a responsibility your leadership has a responsibility something that i say within the organization the job of an organization and your leadership team is to provide you the opportunities and the resources ye ek opportunity hai hum ek resource hain jo ptcl ne aapko provide kiya hai how you use it people no, no offense to people sitting at the back i'm not alleging i'm just using you as a metaphor aap ye pichle ek ghanta de ghanta if you've been doodling on your phone and not giving you know um two hoots about what has been said absolutely your call so the job of an organization or leadership is to provide the opportunity and the resources the analogy i use is we can take the horse to the pond we can make it drink the water drinking the water taking the horse to the pond is absolutely the organization's responsibility is absolutely the leadership's responsibility but drinking the water the decision to actually make the effort of bowing down and drink the water rests with the individual explore those avenues uh get new skills and again you know on the subject i'll, I'll end on the su- on the on this note on the subject of me- vowing for new uh new year resolutions pick one technology and vow to learn it uh in 2020 and i'm sure it will help you uh enhance your professional and personal careers thank you very much